Start spreading the ooze. Yeah, baby, we're in New York, New York at Threat Life Stadium. The fans here can always expect high rent, high Broadway ticket prices, and high body counts, along with the smell of urine in the streets. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The New York Threats battle. The New York Tyrants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what have? <laughs> hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me! And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. What? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and a very lot. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Don't worry. If he shots you, And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10, and he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound. He refuses to go down. Oh. 
second down and a lot. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly did not have prison sex in lockup last night. Nearly. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten that's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run Second and three. That's about a three yard pickup. Third down and a pussy here. And that is caught for a first down. First down and nine. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed feed grip. He's running from his team, it's clear. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Scott, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Third down and long. Punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I picked.
pitchers that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shithouse. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Oh, the strawberry feels dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, and the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a supersonic missile to his receiver. Hey, watch it! Shoot it! You're like a monkey trying to fuck a knee. After last week's game, we're blowing up on Shitter. Critics said he should shut up or blow up. Well, two birds with one stone there, I suppose. And that'll bring up third and one. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Look at him go! Oh, and he breaks free and has no keep an open field in front of him! The 30! The 20! The 10! And he scores! And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. First and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. Hey, okay, no, man, I can't. Come on, I got to get him out. Get him out. Get him. And it's first and ten. are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. Two minutes left in the half. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Second down and five. Defense gives up five yards there. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Man, what a hit that 
was. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Brim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Briggs. Very smart. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. Third and four. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. They called us if he had getting killed by a chain. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. They used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf punch, Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. They want more points, so they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Come on, those are just my fouls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring.
First down and six. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Now, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without hats, remember? We can dance if we wanna. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Third down and five. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and more than the QB would like. Sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Third and four. And the defense spiked the offense, and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles. But it was just a regular knuckles. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Up for six yards. And that'll be 
second down and four. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're gonna lose, pal. You kinda deserve it if you're this dead scrimmage. <laughs> They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. You play a car and dump. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Defense spiked the offensive water, but and that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. And he breaks away.
Third down, and the punter is warming up. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. The defense, and he's off to the races. It's a touchdown! And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. The QB threads the needle for two points. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Bring up third and one. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. Third down and nine. Hey, didn't your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. He could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class, but as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it.
Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God I got to take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. And it's first and ten. They go to work feet dirty brick. He's so fast he wants to stick it. He finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. And it plows forward for the two-point conversion. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know so much money on him. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and the quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. He had it for a second there. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Greedy or desperate, either way, they're going for two. Two-point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. First and ten. It's a zap attack. It's like when you shuffle. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Ooh, baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't say it. 
Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, we're talking about points. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion! He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. The New York Tyrants have won the game. It was a hell of a battle, and they had just enough to cross the finish line. Good thing they got juiced at halftime. I want to get juiced now after listening to you two the entire game. Listen up, guys. The MVP is about to speak. I'm a Ashkelon Silla. I am a Kelon Silla. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right.